Hi guys, welcome to Soul's Journey. And I'm trying to get caught up with some uh, videos that I've been trying to get to for a while and it's just been really busy lately. Um, work has been busier than usual. So I haven't had a chance to do much. <coughs> Excuse me. So I saw um, over on D at uh, Divination's channel this morning, she did a VR to Witchy Woo Woman, uh, whom I do not know, and we'll have to check out her channel, for end of the year tarot. And it's just five questions, so this shouldn't drag on too long. Um, so the first question is, what decks did you buy this year? Well, how much time do you have? Because this here is my list of shame. And uh, probably you guys, if you've been around for a while, have seen most of my walkthroughs. <sighs> I haven't even counted them up, so I'm not even sure how many there are, but there's a lot. Um, so I got just recently, this is kind of going backwards, or from the most recent to the oldest, uh, the Rare Triumph deck, Pike and Clover, uh, the Occult Ornithology, Fantastic Menagerie, Oak, Ash, and Thorn, the Grim Tarok, uh, Intuitive Night Goddess, the Spirit Halloween Tarot, Journey of the Sacred Bee, the Strath Tarot, Faceted Garden Oracle. Anyway, suffice to say, it's too many to read them all off, and you can just you know, if you go back through my, my channel, I'm sure you can find the walkthroughs for any of these that might interest you. So, let's see. So the second question, um, what are new practices around tarot you adopted? I can't say that I actually adopted any new practices. Honestly, I don't think I've, I've done anything different this year than I have in, in you know, over my tarot reading career. Um, yeah, so now I guess I don't have an answer for that one. Um, what decks did you declutter or pass on? Well, I haven't actually started that yet. I'm thinking really hard about it. Um, I am kind of planning still to get to those giveaways that I've been hoping to do forever and I just haven't had a chance to do it. Um, but there's probably going to be a couple of those decks going. And they're brand new, still shrink-wrapped. Um, I got, I, I can explain more later about where they came from and why I have them and why they're still shrink-wrapped. Um, but yeah, it's just time to start thinning it out a little bit. I've got just a ridiculous amount of decks. I think the last time I, I checked, I'm over 250 decks. And the sad thing is most of them just don't get used. Um, I'm kind of tearing my hair out right now because I can't find my Hudes tarot. And I had it not long ago and I don't know where it's gone. I don't know what I did with it. I have been tearing everything apart and I'm going to have to do it again because I need to find that. Um, so yeah, uh, third question or fourth question: What tarot books did you buy or use most this year? Um, I guess the the only one I bought. So I think I'm pretty sure this is the only one I bought this year. I went back through my Amazon purchases and whatnot and. This was the only one I bought, although I can't say I've used it at all. Uh, I sort of looked through it, and it's got loads of different meanings for different situations, and I just kind of went, now this is just going to muddy the waters. Um, this is just going to confuse me, and I just, I really didn't want to get into it. So this may be going in a giveaway at some point. So if you're interested, check back. Okay, so to restate the question, it was what books did you buy or use the most this year? So I didn't buy this one. It was sent to me by the author, and I've mentioned this at least twice before, Tarot for Transformation, 
by Andy Matzner, and he is actually a psychologist. And the more I read this, the more I like it. And if you really want some better insights into human psyche and psychology, I would strongly, strongly recommend this book. I did get it for free. He sent it to me out of the blue. I have no idea why, um, but I am forever grateful for it because it came to me at a time when I really needed something like this. So yeah, this is probably the one I've been using the most. I really like it. And then, most used deck this year was one of my recent purchases. Uh, this was a Kickstarter that I backed, Emerging from Darkness. And I've shown this a couple of times. I do have a walkthrough. And I've used it in conjunction with that Tarot for Transformation book. Um, it comes with this little pamphlet, but there's also an online ebook. Not online, we got to download it. Um, it's got these silver edges, and I kind of whined about it when I first got it because the silver was like coming off on my hands, but that's stopped now, so I guess it was just a little extra on the edges of the cards. But let's see. These are some of my recent pulls. Okay, sorry if this if this goes in and out a little bit, but the more and more I use this deck, the more I like it. I'm not sure why, because in general I'm not drawn to very modern decks. Um, but I think, I don't know, I just, I don't know if it's the style of the art or the coloring. I'm, I'm really not sure what it is, but come on, focus. It, um, I just like this deck. So, yeah. So that's kind of my little end of year thing, and I am still waiting on other decks from Kickstarter that I backed and that funded. Some of them funded last year and they still haven't come in. But you know, with the whole COVID thing and everything's backed up, it's just, it's been a long wait. Um, for some of these decks, and a couple of them are getting closer. They're almost on their way, so happy about that. So I think I'm waiting on seven more decks still, but anyway, I'm going to try to get to a couple more VRs, and hopefully talk to you soon. So please give it the, the old thumbs up and subscribe, and uh, take care. Blessed be.